Hello and welcome back to the second episode of my Fallout 4 visual overhaul guide. The series where I show you how to bring your game to the next level. In the last episode I covered everything you need to know about lighting and weather mods. Make sure to watch that first. And if you don't want to miss any more videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. Let's get it started. This episode is all about Reshade and ENB. To give you an explanation first, Reshade and ENB are graphical post-processing modifications you can add to your game, adding options as ambient occlusion, depth of field, color correction, anti-aliasing, its very own shading and many more. If that doesn't mean anything to you, it makes your game look much more immersive. In the following I will briefly show you how to install those. If you know that already, you can skip to the timestamp where I show some of my favorite ENB presets. For Reshade, simply go to the website and download the latest version. As you can see there are two different variations here. Keep in mind, this one with full add-on support is intended for single player games only and can lead to bans if you're using it in multiplayer. Now head to your download location and execute the installer. First, select the game you want to install Reshade to. In our case, it's Fallout 4. If you can find it in the list, click on Browse. Head to the location your Steam games are installed. Open Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4 and select the Fallout 4 EXE. Now click on Next. Choose DirectX 11. Next. Here the installer asks you if you want to install a preset. If you don't, skip this part. This one is the main part. There are many different packages of visual effects you can choose from. Check the ones you'd like to install and click on next. Now it shows you all various effects that are included in those packages you choose before. Again, select which one you prefer and finish the installation process. If you now start the game, a text will appear at the top telling you reshape is installed successfully. To make an effect on your game's visuals, press the position 1 key on your keyboard. Read the tutorial if you like and finally you can see the list of your installed visual options. Choose what you like and customize it to your likings. For ENB it's also not really more difficult than that. First go to the ENB page I linked in the description. Choose the latest version on top, scroll down and click on this arrow for download. Now open that file, open the wrapper version, take both of these .dll files on top and drag them into your Fallout 4 directory folder. You just installed the base ENB files. If you now launch the game this text will appear on top. To get a drastic visual effect, the next step will be downloading an ENB preset of your choice. You can simply search the Nexus for popular options or you can try those I provided for this video. Links are in the description. Just download it manually and open it. This can differ now between various presets but usually you will find an ENB series folder, some INI and some FX files. Basically everything that has somehow the name of ENB in it will be important except readme files. Just copy all of them into your Fallout 4 directory folder as before. And now you successfully installed ENB to your game. If you want to change some visual settings, open the ENB in-game GUI, usually press shift and enter and adjust those settings to your likings. Make sure to save them right there when you're done. Now it's time for the ENB comparison. There are many presets that have their own unique look and add a whole different vibe to the game. I personally like using the Decent ENB preset. As you can see, it adds some contrast and emphasizes the colors by keeping it natural and crispy. A different one is Reactor. By adding some contrast, saturation and lifting the blue colors it makes the game much more vibrant. It also adds some effects like lens blur and depth of field. And that was the second episode of my series changing your Fallout 4 into an atmospheric and immersive game. In the next episode I will show some of the best texture and model mods out there so make sure not to miss that. Which NB do you like the most? Tell me in the comment section. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video. Until next time.